Hello, everybody. Ziggy so, you know, back with a video on MetaMask. Now, in this video, we're going to walk through several different steps. Okay, so you're going to want to bookmark this. You might come back to this later on. We're going to walk through first how to download and install MetaMask. Pretty simple, pretty basic, nothing special here. But after we do that, we're going to then uninstall and we're going to recover. And then we're going to reinstall and then we're going to uninstall and recover. And we're going to do this a few times to kind of show you some things I've learned and the importance of why you have to put away your secret recovery keys. Okay. Don't rely on just your password. Um, I think it's all too often people um, underestimate the importance of these uh, secret recovery keys. So as we're watching this video run, here we go. Okay, I'm going to get started. I'm going to run this as I create a new wallet. Now, creating a new wallet. I'm getting some tips here from MetaMask. Never collect keys addresses. Uh, okay, I'm going to create a password here. Um, try and put a password that will meet the requirements here. I'm going to create and get a little video on creating and securing my wallet. Now, this is actually a good video. I do recommend you watch this video in an entirety. Um, for this example, I'm not going to do that, but it does walk through the recovery, the recovery phrase. It seems like everybody just kind of ignores this, but um, that's not what I'm here for today. Today, I'm here to walk you through the example. Now, this is the one that I'll point out. When I made my first MetaMask wallet back in um, April, uh, uh, it was really just to look at something. It wasn't to use MetaMask. I wasn't thinking about it long term. So when this option came up and said, uh, click to reveal your secret words or remind me later, I easily click the remind me later button. Right, but I'm going to stress to you, you have to click this button and you have to copy these onto something else and put them away for later. Okay, um, then next, go ahead and uh, we're going to do the recovery. And you'll see I've got to be able to dear learn energy, uh, dear uh, learn energy. I have to say, this is one of the best requires in uh, require. Um, December cinnamon green, December cinnamon green. One of the best systems I've seen. Clip grass song, clip grass. Clip glass, uh-oh, what's wrong? Oh. <laughs> oh, for this video, I screwed up. Okay, I worked that out. So I made a little mistake. Here we are, confirm those secret keys. This is the, again, for this video, I'm not gonna use this MetaMask. So you guys can write this down, go heck this MetaMask, create all you wanna do, that's wonderful. All done, all done, sounds good. Now you got this little thing, excellent. Talks about the recovery phrase. And this is where I wanna put it on my phone. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Then I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna go MetaMask away. Let's go ahead here and um, let's make some changes. We'll call this a uh, testing account. Click that to make sure it stays. Okay, now let's pretend like I go ahead and I'm going to um, now uninstall MetaMask. Uh, 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 remove from Chrome. Okay, so now I've removed it from Chrome. Now, after I removed it from Chrome, like, oh man, I didn't mean to remove it from Chrome. I want to reinstall that. So I go ahead here, I took the add button, I add extension. Now, what we want to be looking for here, okay, as we go through this whole reinstall process again. Okay, so I come back here. Now remember, I can do a couple things here. I could recover if I have my passphrase, which I do have my passphrase, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and recover. Now, let's say I didn't recover. Let, let's, let's do the, the recovery. Let's go ahead and do a recovery, agree. And I'm gonna click over here and get my recovery phrase. Control copy back over here, put that in here.
congratulations, all done. Okay, so I should be back in there now. I didn't save my account settings, but I assume this is the account that I had. Okay, that account setting I had there. Now I assume it's the same account. Should we have verified that? I guess if we look right here, we've got an OXED, okay? And it seemed like that passcode that I used and the phrase seemed to work. Now let's go, let's do this again though. Let's this time uninstall, remove it. Now we're gonna reinstall it. Okay, add extension. Now we've reinstalled here, okay. Now at this time, instead of me importing my wallet, right? I'm gonna, this is what I did. I accidentally created a new wallet and in creating a new wallet, you're basically rewriting over your extension data. Oh, damn it, let's, let's make sure these passwords match. Okay. And now I've just created a new wallet. Now, how do I know it's new? Let's go here and check out this, this phrase. Now this phrase should be different, control copy, than this phrase. Okay. And they do look like they are different. Let me go forward and I'm going to verify this one. This is going to be pulp host pool, pulp. Select before type, select before head exist bring, head exist bring, rib about thing, rib about thing. Okay, confirm, confirm. Okay, so this should be a new address. And if I check this out, this address is OXC6D6. Let's put that down here. Okay, that should be O X C C six. What I say D six. Okay, and I forget what this one was, but we're gonna now we're gonna go back here. Now here's here I'll be example. This is where I was before, um, where I basically had messed up and I'd reinstalled over my old MetaMask. And now the question was, how do I recover the first account? How do I get back to that account? Well, one thing I did again was I uninstalled this and I realized that was a mistake. So then I reinstalled it because in order to, to do one of the processes, let me pull this up in a second for you. Okay, so where I am is that I have over-installed on my original MetaMask and I installed a new instance on top now. And I wanna go back to instance one. Now, according to this ability, now here's the problem. It says to try to find and restore the secret key phrase on a computer requires access to the computer with the installation of MetaMask or a backup of the computer. Now, that's what's important with an installation of MetaMask. So with the installation, that's why I reinstalled it. Now, why I say that is when I do this, I go in here and it's gonna give me a little tip on how I can, um, you know, get this information. Um, let me show you what I ended up doing. Let's go to, I yeah, went to extensions, manage extensions. And then I click on here and I hit the uh, inspect button. Now this is all coming from this document here, okay? Which will tell you Right click on the MetaMask extension window on the extension open and expand the view, the tab, and it has this link right here. So there's another way to do it. You can just copy, cut and paste this, copy this, go over here, put this up here. Okay, now you wanna to go to the console to tell you to go to the console. Okay. Now go to the console tab and type and press enter, return the following command. So here's the command I'm gonna put in here. Control copy. This is pretty cool. I have to say, this is pretty neat. And everyone's like, well, why can't you just recover your passcode? I'm like, well, I'm trying to recover it or my passphrase. So hit that and I hit the enter button. <clears throat> now this is, this is, if I go back to here, 
this is the data vault. Okay, this is very critical. This is what I was looking for, right? So I copy this piece right here. Copy that, and I'm gonna come over here and it's gonna tell me to go to this decryptor. And again, I can watch this video on the same process downstairs. Now there's another process it mentioned to you where if you can't get it from this uh, right click thing, this inspect, you can look for the file itself physically, which I did that as well, by the way. So here I got this, I click on that. Now you gotta put the correct passcode in, the passcode that you were using with this wallet. If you don't have the correct passcode, it's not gonna work, but I hit the decrypt button, Boom, look at that, look right down there. Now let's go back and look at which one this is. Pulp, host, that's this one right here. That's this current thing I've just recovered, okay? So if I can pause for a minute, what I wanna to try to explain to people is that I'm able to recover the new instance, the most current instance, but once I reinstall the extension on top of the old extension, it appears like I wiped out that data crypt and that data key. And it's that data crypt and data key that I need, right? It's I need this information to get back to my original as an example for this video, okay? I got the most recent when I decrypted, okay? Does that make sense? So I come over here. Now, another thing it talks about here In this, uh, in this suggestion, where is it? Is you can physically go down to the data file itself. Okay, so um, follow the string. You go down here and you get this data file here. And I did this. I did this as well. I'm gonna actually have that file right here. Ever have it now? Over here. Actually, I don't know where I put it. It's not really important right now, but I did do this. Now I tried to decrypt that, but again, it seems like all I'm able to decrypt is the most recent instance of the MetaMask, not the previous instance of the MetaMask, not the one that has the code that I need in order to get to my stuff that was lost. So again, I hope this video helps you understand that you can run this to recover the passphrases um, on your most current, but you have to keep the MetaMask installed and you have to use that, U that URL to go here and then run the command from there. Um, if you don't do that and you reinstall a new MetaMask, it looks like you're overriding that fault, that data and that key. If I'm wrong, I'd love for someone to please uh, you know, chime in, tell me I'm wrong and how I can you know, get back to those those keys, because I still have the passcode, I still know the password of my original wallet that I wiped out and I still, you know, I'm just, I'm host. Stop recording.